Benjamin Franklin was one of the founding fathers of America. One needs to look no further than Philadelphia to see reminders of Ben Franklin's lasting legacy, such as the iconic Ben Franklin Bridge and the esteemed Franklin Institute. Among the numerous tributes to him, which stands out as the most recognizable representation of Benjamin Franklin. Join us on an electrifying journey through the life and legacy of America's founding father. But before that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. Let's kick off our exploration of America's founding father with one of the most recognizable representations, his portrait gracing the $100 bill. Before we see how he landed his portrait on the $100 bill, let's roll back the clock to his early days and see how he laid the foundation for such an achievement. Benjamin Franklin was one of 17 children born into a large family in 1706. His father, Josiah Franklin, was a candle and soap manufacturer. He only had enough money to send Benjamin to school for two years. At the tender age of 10, his formal schooling came to an end, marking a rather bittersweet chapter in his life. Subsequently, he spent some time working alongside his father. However, when he was 12 years old, he started an apprenticeship with his older brother James. James managed a printmaking business and published the New England Current. At first, Benjamin felt like a puzzle piece that didn't quite fit, being bound to his brother. However, he soon realized that the printer's shop provided access to newspapers, books and pamphlets. It also gave him the chance to interact with influential figures through printing government documents. He quickly learned typesetting and worked diligently to improve himself, practicing by copying essay samples to refine his writing style. Do you know who the writer behind the pseudonym Silence Doggood was? None other than Benjamin Franklin himself. Under this clever pen name, Franklin crafted essays from a woman's perspective, and these writings quickly gained acclaim. He authored 14 of these essays before being discovered. These experiences honed his writing skills and marked the start of his illustrious literary journey. Did Benjamin Franklin also wear the hat of Richard Saunders as an alias? The answer is yes. Under this pen name, Benjamin Franklin authored the first edition of Poor Richard's Almanac, a publication that continued for 25 years. This almanac featured famous proverbs like, early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, and God helps those who help themselves. It not only gained popularity, but also brought him considerable wealth, ultimately leading to his involvement in key government positions. In 1736, Benjamin Franklin was appointed as the clerk for the Pennsylvania Assembly, which offered access to influential leaders. In the 1740s, Benjamin Franklin conducted groundbreaking experiments on electricity, leading to the invention of the lightning rod for fire protection. In 1752, he famously demonstrated lightning's electrical nature through a kite experiment. He introduced key electricity-related terms like battery, charge, and conductor. Beyond electricity, Franklin delved into diverse fields, researching ocean currents, meteorology, and refrigeration. In addition to his scientific endeavors, Benjamin Franklin also made significant contributions on the political front. He proved that he could not only light up the world of science, but also excel in the realm of governance. In 1757, Franklin traveled to London as a representative of the Pennsylvania Assembly, addressing tax disputes involving William Penn's descendants. He lived mainly in London until 1775. During this time, British regulatory measures escalated, leading to anti-British sentiment and the American Revolution. Franklin returned to Philadelphia and joined the Second Continental Congress. There, he played a key role in drafting the Declaration of Independence in 1776. He was sent to France in 1776 to secure aid, leading to a vital military alliance. As minister to France, Franklin helped negotiate the 1783 Treaty of Paris, ending the Revolutionary War. He is the sole founding father to have placed his signature on all four pivotal documents that granted America its independence from Britain. At the age of 84, Benjamin Franklin passed away on April 17, 1790. He was buried in the Christchurch Cemetery in Philadelphia. In his will, he left funds for Boston and Philadelphia. These funds were later used to build a trade school, a science museum, and to support scholarships and various community initiatives. 
Because of his extensive influence on the early history of the country, he is jokingly referred to as the only president of the United States who was never president of the United States. What role do you believe Benjamin Franklin played primarily in American history? Was he a scientist, inventor, politician or philanthropist? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to light up that subscribe button and amp up the likes to make sure you don't miss our upcoming stuff.